The Tiger I, one of the most formidable tanks of the Second World War. Just over 1,300 Tigers were built. These tanks were probably the most fear-provoking sight on the battlefield. The head designer, Erwin Anders, spared no expense when designing it. The Tiger had a massive gun and engine, and up to 120 millimeter thick armor. This tank was over-engineered as all hell and ridiculously expensive. It boasted a kill ratio of about 10 to 1, and this is not including AT and artillery positions destroyed by the tank. However, it was not all sunshine and swastikas. A massive amount of Tigers simply broke down and could not be repaired, leaving them to be captured by the enemy, or they had to be scuttled. The Tiger was ridiculously over-engineered and complicated to operate. It was too expensive to put out in large numbers, and required so much fuel to drive that in many cases, Tigers were just unfeasible to use in combat. Another problem that is central to why I am making this video is the lack of qualified crew. Okay, so, Hans Christian was the head of training for the Inspectorate of the Panzer Troops, and he was a very well decorated colonel. Tanks was this guy's passion, and he was even put in charge of the 7th Panzer Division, aka the Ghost Division. Ole Hans was tasked with creating a training manual for the brand new Tiger tanks. So he recruited the best of the best to write this tank manual. He recruited Leutnant Josef von Gleiter Goetz to write the manual. Then he recruited Obergrenadier Gessinger and Unteroffizier Wagner to do the illustrations. So as I previously mentioned in 1943, the German panzer troops had a critical lack of experienced tankers because they'd all been blown up or were otherwise incapacitated. So these lads wrote a training manual. But I think it's best if I just show you. For instance, quote, Just like a woman takes a shower to clean off and freshen up, you must cool off your tank's engine using antifreeze or water. Or, quote, Just like sunscreen protects women from getting burnt, you must also use oil to prevent your tank's engine from overheating. Other important tips include, quote, Just like with women, you do not want to aim too short or too tall and many other tips like that. The scantily clad lady's name was Elvira, and she would be shown next to important information to capture the attention of the young tankers and to get them to remember the important information. This obviously captured the attention of the troops, and they were better trained and led to a lot more effective learning in the Panzer Corps. <laughs> Basically, the entire Tiger Feeble was written in a poetic rhyming rhythm, and Elvira would present herself right next to a motto that the tankers would need to know. The Tiger Feeble also had a counterpart, the Panther Feeble, which is basically the exact same, except the Panther Feeble is about the Panther Medium Tank. There was also another Feeble, or Primer, Feeble means Primer, for the Focke-Wulf 190, called the Des Jäger Scheiße Feeble, which is also written in a similar style. Just like any military, the Germans had a lot of different feebles. They had feebles for the Car 98, MP40, Luger, and many other weapons. I cannot stress enough that the most evil empire in all of history used this to train their most elite and destructive minions. This is cool and all, and a wonderful wholesome part of history, but what I think is even funnier then teaching Nazis how to effectively use weapons of war using hentai is that this was approved by Heinz Gadadian, meaning Heinz Gadadian himself, the unrepentant Nazi, probably had a good chuckle and approved its publishing. When Gadarian approved it, the official memo that was sent reads, quote, The Taiga Feeble is approved. Who knows it will not be removed. Just like, what? <laughs> These unorthodox teaching methods were probably very effective, and it's just so funny to think that multiple Tiger tank crews were saved from certain doom entirely because they paid attention to the illustrations in the book. Thank you to Alam Hanby for providing a free semi-translation of the Tiger Feeble and lots of free information. Links for further reading is in the description. Thank you to everyone for watching, and if you liked the video, please like it. 
if you would like to subscribe to my channel for more weird history content, then please subscribe. Please comment any questions you would like, and I will sh try my best to answer them. But goodbye, and have a good day. Thank you.